Our dear brothers and sisters, welcome to 17th Sunday of the Ordinary Time. The main themes of today's scripture readings are the power of intercessory prayer and the prayer of our Father as the ideal prayer and the necessity for persistence and perseverance in prayer and trusting faith and boldness. In short, the readings teach us what to pray and how to pray. One post office employee tells about an irate customer who stormed to her desk one day. What's the trouble? The postal employee responded in her calmest voice. I went out this morning, the customer began angrily, and when I came home, I found a card saying the mailman trying to deliver a package, but no one was at home. I will have you know my husband was in all mourning. He never heard a thing. After apologizing, the postal employee got the woman's parcel. Oh good, the woman gushed. We have been waiting for this for ages. What is it? The postal worker asked. The woman said with pride, my husband's new hearing aid. Well, no wonder. When we asked one another, there are some people who can't hear us, others who don't listen to us. But when we speak to God, we speak to the one who hears all and listens to all. The first reading, taken from the book of Genesis, gives us the model for intercessory prayer provided by Abraham in his dialogue with God. Although Abraham seems to be trying to manipulate God through his skillful bargaining and humble, persistent intercession. God is actually being moved to mercy by the goodness of a few innocent souls. In the second reading of today, taken from Paul's letter to the Colossians, though it does not address prayer, but reminds us of the need of perseverance in our living faith in Christ which provides the basis for all Christian prayers, especially for liturgical prayer, the mystery of death and resurrection of Christ. Paul assures us that even when we were dead in sin, God gave us a new life through Jesus and pardoned all our sins. In the gospel passage, after teaching a model prayer, Jesus instructs his disciples to pray to God their Heavenly Father, with the same boldness, daring, intimacy, conviction, persistence and perseverance Abraham displayed and the friend in need in the parable employed. He gives us the assurance that God will not be irritated by our requests or unwilling to meet them with generosity. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, Prayer is essential for Christian family. To remain faithful in marriage, the spouses must pray, not only individually, but together. They must thank God and offer intercessory prayers for each other, for their children and for their dear ones. We need to accept others as children of God and thereby brothers and sisters. Through the prayer of our Father, Jesus is giving us a new vision of human relationships that we all, irrespective of our color, creed, social background, are the children of God and thereby brothers and sisters. When we learn this lesson, and if we can learn this lesson, if we are able to treat God as our Father and love Him accordingly, and if we are able to treat every other human being as our own dear brothers and sisters and love them accordingly, then we shall experience the kingdom of God here on earth and enjoy in the next life. When we love each other and forgive each other's failings, God also will love us and forgive us. And this is the foundation of true faith. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.